Hey, if you're watching this video, you probably have decided to add a few drives on your Synology NAS. Before I show you how to do that, I'm going to answer a few frequently asked questions. What capacity drive should I be adding? What's the minimum size I can actually add? Uh, what about um, adding just a single drive or should I add more drives? Can I be mixing things like SSDs and hard drives and laptop drives and so on? And what happens with a RAID when I add more drives? So first of all, we're going to talk about capacity. So if you have a two bay, for example, with uh, only one hard drive in there, adding another hard drive would just uh, mirror things. So that wouldn't increase a storage space. All it would do is just mirror first drive on the second drive, unless you go for a RAID zero option. But that means if one of these drives will fail, all your data will be lost. You will gain more storage space, but you need to make sure you have a backup in that situation. Things are changing when you have um, more than two bays, like four bay solution, because then instead of mirroring, you actually go for RAID 5 SHR1, one drive redundancy option, which means that one drive will be used for parity. So 30%, with three drives, you use 33% of storage space instead of 50%, which it was uh, in a RAID 1 situation, two drive situation. And uh, more drives you'll be adding, more space you'll be getting. Um, if what's the minimum size to be uh, adding is um, probably going to be the same size what you already have in there. Because if you'll be adding a bigger drive in, for example, two bay situation, then you, you won't be getting extra space because it needs at least two drives of the same capacity to actually build some sort of redundancy. So if you have uh, two one terabyte drives, for example, you will need to add another two four terabyte drives to actually add additional storage space. So you'll need two drives added. Um, and at the minimum size, will need to be a size of your uh, biggest drive probably, because that's how the thing of other restriction on Synology uh, in DSM-6 it used to be easier, but now with new operating system, it doesn't allow you adding smaller drives anymore. It's going to check the biggest drive available there, and that's what you will need to add. So now we can talk a little bit about mixing drives. DSM-7 uh, do not allow mixing SSDs and hard drives anymore. DSM-6 was fine. DSM-7, no, no good. Uh, you can't mix, but you can still mix um, any kind of hard drives, like laptop and hard drive drives, if you have to do that. Obviously, it will be recommended to have same kind of drive. If you have WD RAID, keep on adding WD RAIDs, but you can add different type of drives, different RPMs, different um, cache options, different speeds, because at the end of the day, you're still uh, limited to your LAN speed anyway. And uh, RAID options, what's going to change with RAID? If you have SHR enabled by uh, default at the start already with one drive or two drives, there's no changes needed. You just keep on adding drives and it's automatically going to have this one drive redundancy. If you had um, RAID 1, then uh, you would need to migrate from RAID 1 to RAID 5 if you add a third drive and fourth drive and fifth drive. And then you can also migrate from RAID 5 to RAID 6 if you want to introduce two drive redundancy. That would normally happen if you go already somewhere closer to 8 eight drive and drive on your NAS. Um, and um, these are the things what uh, normally people are asking most of the time. So now, <clears throat> now we can dig in uh, and, and have a look how to actually add additional drive. So in this case, in our situation, we have two silly drives rated together, which is uh, 230 gigs and 2.7 gigabits, so, which gives us some volume capacity of only 218 gigabytes because the biggest drive can't um, protect it, so we can't build any sort of parties on the drive, so we need to add another drive. And the drive size will need to be the um, same size as the biggest drive in this case when we're adding additional drives. So if you're adding another 2.7, which is 3 terabyte drive, this should suddenly actually give full storage space of 2.7 terabytes plus this 232 gigabytes. So to do that, uh, we go to storage pool, and then uh, this is DSM-7, uh, do this um, dot three dots button and click add drive, and then you'll see uh, available drives there. Uh, in this case, all HDD SATA drives. You will click next, click continue, and then automatically it's gonna say, do you want to expand your, um, if you want to expand your volume 
which is also very useful because in DSM-5 you had to, after you added an additional drive, you had to go to volumes, you had to manually increase your volume size. Now you don't need to do that, it's actually offering to do that automatically. Then you click next and um, click apply and it's going to say we're going to erase all the data, we're going to format these drives. Are you okay with that? Say yes, I'm okay with that. And uh, then it's going to take a couple of hours depending on what size of drive you have chosen. Um, it's going to, it might take, in this case, the estimate is four or five hours to finish the parity writing. So all data will be form uh, formatted on the new drive and the parity data will be written on it. So you're going to gain some more storage space. I hope this was um, answering your questions, making things easier to understand and, and I'm going to show you how to actually set it up yourself. If you have any questions, you can always go to NASCompares, NASCompares, fill the form on the right hand side, send the email to info NASCompares and we can shoot a video like this so we can help you and we can help others as well. Cheerio!